What's up, guys? Welcome back to Digital Diving. My name is Monkey. I am saying God Kush. How you doing? This is the first time uh, me using my pl new PlayStation camera I got. I had to do a workaround by live streaming it on my own personal YouTube channel that, you know, doesn't do anything. And then downloading Whoa. it and editing it on my own. So it's a whole freaking process, but I think it's going to work better and easier for me especially. So... He got yeah. this camera for his birthday. I Happy did. Birthday, I just, I just turned 25, and I'm, I'm not sure what to feel. But, <laughs> anyways, yeah. today uh, I'm playing Marvel's Spider-Man because we're talking about some MCU stuff. Uh, Spider-Man: Far From Home has introduced the idea of the multiverse, and we don't know if this is an actual thing or if it's just Mysterio fucking with people. But if assuming it is real. Dark Phoenix is coming out on June 3rd? No, June 7th, sorry. In like four weeks. And we all know that this uh, Fox Disney deal went through, which means it's inevitable that the uh, or X-Men is going to get rebooted into the MCU. But we wanted to talk about Dark Phoenix in general, what we thought think about it, and how we think the X-Men will be rebooted into the MCU, if they even will. And I, we all know that Jules loves X-Men. I do, I, mean, I do. I mean, and the, re the reboots are doing well um, so far, and I really appreciate them, you know what I mean? I mean, people have very mixed really opinions about the rebooted X-Men, or the f rebooted Fox X-Men. So, I mean, a lot of people didn't like Age of Apocalypse. A lot of people didn't like far, um, uh, Days of Future Past. It, it, it's been, I mean, it, it's been off and on. Yeah, I mean, I mean, um, X-Men has always been a hit and miss, but so has Fantastic Four. Uh, but oh, I, I mean, Fantastic Four is kind of one of those... Blech. I think X-Men is one of those things where, like, you just have to get the right cast of people and the right people to play it all in one movie. Because, I mean, yeah, you, they, they cast a great young Magneto for the... Oh, they did. They, Michael Fassbender the, uh, was perfect. Reboot. Yeah, it was amazing. And that's one of the reasons why I really do love the... Um, that's one of the reasons why I do love the new X-Men movies is because they put focus on Eric. They put focus on Charles in a way that really wasn't in the other X-Men movies because yeah. of the fact that they focused on Wolverine so much. They, put they did. They did. Gray. They really and, did. Like, it was... I mean, I dug so it much. because... I dug it because it was, you know, Wolverine. I love Wolverine. Yeah, and they did a spot on, you know, casting with Hugh Jackman. Oh my god. But at did. the end of the day, like now that he's gone, like they need somebody else to invest into, you know. So I really appreciate Pretty the much. fact that it was um I appreciate the fact that it was uh rebooted. Yeah, not yeah, and uh done. And it, that's the thing, like Apocalypse wasn't, you know, Apocalypse wasn't bad, and I'll say it wasn't bad just because I I am pretty hard and critical about superhero movies. Because I, I do love the comics and the, you know, and the cartoons from the 90s. But at the end of the day, like, they, it could have been worse. Honestly, it could have been a lot worse. And I really love the focus on Magneto in that movie. It was really about, like, him trying to overcome his demons and him, like, succumbing to himself, essentially. You know? Yeah, I know what you and, mean. And, like, trying to give humans a chance. And, like, they fucking killed his, they killed his family. Like, oh, my God. It was... Yeah, they did a the good emotional... job with Magneto. They did a really good job with Magneto and his connections in the new X-Men. And I, I, I find it interesting that every single X-Men franchise always ends with Dark Phoenix. And I understand that's how it is in the comics and stuff. And I have a feeling that... Well, that's not the thing we have to talk about. But like, I just find it funny that they're, again, going with the Dark Phoenix arc to end the sort of quote unquote end the new uh, X Men franchise, I guess. But with Dark Phoenix coming out and New Mutants also coming out soon, well, that's what this year. I think New Mutants is this year. Um, it's coming out August second. New Mutants. So that's happening too. But we all know that X Men is one hundred percent going to get rebooted into the MCU. So the question is. Will they keep the cast, or the, like this cast, or do you think that they're going to completely reboot it again and put it into the MCU? And how do I mean, you think it's going to happen? 
I mean, Marvel has been always done complete reboots. Marvel has never done like half-ass reboots where they reboot a little bit of it and like, you know what I mean? So yeah, I think it is going to get 100% rebooted, but I also think that they're going to tie like, so like the hypothesis, one of the hypotheses is that next they're going to try and do like secret wars, you know what I mean? And they're going to try and incorporate yeah. Fantastic Four and incorporate other superhero groups to like take place of the Avengers because most of the Avengers, like all the important Avengers, their contract was up. The actors for those characters, their contract is up and they didn't exactly. want to renew them. Well, the only, people. the only ones that are out are Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> anyway. Are you Okay. No, I'm sorry. I just, I just love the death of Tony Stark. It's just, it's amazing. God. Tony Stark is probably one of my least favorite heroes in Marvel or DC. Just You're one of my horrible. least favorite heroes. <laughs> Dude, but Robert Downey like, by giving him a kid. It's like Robert it's Downey. Work. I still know you're an Whoa, asshole. Whoa, <laughs> what? Okay, first of all, Robert Downey Jr. did an amazing job as Tony Stark, and his character oh, no, portrayal, he did. and his court character portrayal was perfect in the MCU. No, I, no, I just hate the character Tony Stark himself. Like, the comic book, like, his personality. I just don't like him as a person. Like, his, his character. Like, his Fair personality. Enough. No, Robert Downey Jr. did an amazing job. I wasn't saying that at all. Okay. Like, that was, that, it was, don't, don't get me wrong, <laughs> it was an amazing movie. Um, but no, I feel like the way they're going to try to incorporate X-Men is try to, I don't know, because the fact, Marvel has so much lore and has so much story and so many different different stories about different superhero groups joining other superhero groups and making a mega superhero group. But I don't know if Marvel's going to go that route with the movies based off of, like, finances, based off of, um, like, what the actors can do based on their schedules because they're probably making other movies. You know what I mean? Oh, so yeah, it's absolutely. It's hard to say, like... It's like, yeah, everybody will love an Avengers and Fantastic Four team up or, like, an Avengers and the X-Men team up, which does happen in the comics. Oh, but yeah. seeing it actually happen on the screen is, like, I don't know how likely it is. So as far as the reboot, I don't, I honestly don't know how they're going to reboot it because I don't know if they're going to make Wolverine the central, you know, oh, no. the central I mean, character they did, again. They didn't even make once him they, the central they character. Them. They didn't even make him the central character in the new X Men movies. Like he he I was mean, he was a central character in one movie, and that was it. I mean, I was um I was saying like once they recast him, like they, oh yeah, because they they weren't recasting him. Like Hugh Jackman was kind of doing the little cameos, but like he wasn't really like doing a lot because he probably knew he wasn't gonna be Wolverine too much longer. No, nah. well know? the so, only the only person to do more cameos as his like combo character, um than than Hugh Jackman as Wolverine was. Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. Iron Man. So yeah. he yeah. was. He was. He, right now, he is the like record to beat. So I know. I know. They're of course they're going to recast Wolverine, which I'm kind of like on the edge about because like I feel like he Wolverine like Iron Man is one of those like roles that you just can't recast because those actors just owned that role completely. Yeah. Yeah, they did. So it's, it's going to be a, weird. You to can't me. even imagine anybody else playing that role, almost. Exactly. I. I mean, I can't really. Whenever I'm asked, like, who would you want to play uh, Wolverine? I'm like Hugh Jackman. Hugh, Hugh Jackman. Right, exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's Hugh Jackman. He's the only Wolverine that I'm ever going to acknowledge. I'm sorry, but. It's the same thing with Thor. Honestly, same thing with Thor. On, I don't. I don't. Same see thing with Thor. Else. Same thing with Cap. Same thing with all their main Avengers. Like I can't see anyone else as them. Spider Man is the only one I can see to change because he's changed and so much Thor. already for me. I mean, me. no, I mean, and Hawk. <laughs> I can see Hawk because Hawk, Hawk yeah. has had so many changes. Exactly. But as far as X Men goes, honestly, Dark Phoenix. I honestly am on the fence about how that's going to look. How yeah. that's going to go? Because the last Dark Phoenix I've we been, got was horrible. I mean, no, the second movie, the X Men Two, was a good movie. I'm not that's talking about it that. Started. Well, yeah, but I'm talking about like three. yeah, X Three. X Three was garbage. I mean, I could I could deal with X Three just because it gave me closure for the series. Like, it gave me a lot of closure. It closed a lot of things out. You know, it was a. Uh, it was what I, it was kind of what I needed from the series. You know what I mean? That's but, like, fair. I do agree. Like, there were some things that could have been done a little bit better. You know, I didn't. I I I wasn't. I was never a big fan of Cyclops, but I didn't expect him to die. <laughs> you know what I mean? For real though, yeah, that was kind of like, oh, okay, cool. I was like, wait, 
Wait, this is a dream, right? Like this is somebody. <laughs> in his dream. Like, and it looks you know, like so. and it looks like in this movie we're going to see the death of Mystique, maybe. I mean, yeah, that's kind yeah. of what they're building up to, I guess. Yeah, but you can't kill Mystique. She has a kid. Who I think again, is again, Night, they're think again they're re they're rebooting. Well, yeah, I think Nightcrawler is officially uh, in the comics, anyways. I don't know. So far, like they already have Nightcrawler in both these movies, and we both know they're de he's definitely not Mystique's kid. But with how weird these timelines are, I mean, that's very fucking possible. But who knows? I think what's actually going to happen with bringing these to the MCU is if Spider-Man Far From Home is like being legit about this uh, multiverse, that I think that would be the best way to bring them in. Like just have them come in from another universe. Right. Look at all the, like, the instances with fucking like X-Men, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., all that shit. Like even like the Avengers. like. All like the powered people in their respective universes. In the Avengers, they were in. They're called enhanced. Uh, in the X Men, they're mutants. In Agents of Shield, it's um, uh, what are they? Uh, Inhumans. You know, like they all have their own respective universes like, and like yeah. things that you're doing. Yeah. So it's all like I, I don't know how they could just suddenly be like, oh. Mutants are in this world now, but like where were they before? Right, exactly. Like I don't I mean it's it's gonna be interesting to see what they do because with them trying to like do Fantastic Four and then do X Men and, and like try and tie everything together, it's gonna be uh very interesting to see how they do it. Honestly, that's probably the easiest way because they've already messed up the story, like not messed it up, but they've already changed the story so much that trying to involve everybody in the same universe Without some kind of multi-dimensional, yeah, you know, without something huge be, happening, yeah, it would be just, it would be wrong. <laughs> it would be so yeah. wrong. And now so, that they're talking about like, like I said, Far From Homes might might possibly be introducing the multiverse. It makes total sense that that would be a really good way to introduce all of these freaking characters. Fantastic Four, X Men. Whoever else they really want to. I mean, I think they're really taking advantage of the fact that uh, comics have, superheroes have gotten to this point where they're doing different dimensions, and because of that, they can kind of do whatever they want, even in even Pretty in much. the comics. You know what I mean? Like, oh, somebody's dead, they can just come back to another dimension, or you well, just take that I mean, I don't think another dimension. I don't like, think we're I don't think we're gonna see not, a lot of these characters come back. I mean, they not, not brought, like, they brought not back, that, but that was just like an example, like you know what yeah. I mean, like yeah. whatever you do, you can just rectify it by going to another dimension or time traveling or whatever, you know what I mean? So it's just like I think they yeah, really because I mean they brought that they brought back Gamora due to time travel, and right. I mean there's another and thing Nick like Fury they could probably and just bring everybody. They might be able to bring back. Well, they didn't bring back Nick Fury. Nick Fury was always around. He never died. He did. He did die. He faded he away. He never at, died. Endgame. Oh well, yeah. He, I mean, he, okay, okay, okay. That's he, different though because they they undid the whole snap. That's different. Right. But that's what I'm saying. He came back through time travel. That's not the technically, but I mean, <laughs> he was the same character. Like Gamora, the the past Gamora is not the same Gamora no, that yeah, was yeah, lost in Infinity like, War. Yeah. And I don't know if they're really gonna bring back um, Black Widow. Like a past Black Widow, I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, I don't think so either. Another question that I wanted to bring up is, uh, who do you think we are going to... I don't know if we talked about this before on the channel, but who do you think we're going to see first to come into the MCU? Uh, X-Men or Fantastic Four? Um, X-Men. X-Men, really? Is already, X-Men's already on a roll, and they've already been doing okay. Fantastic Four has just been a shit show ever since Silver Surfer, to be honest. True. <laughs> However, so. they already kind of s softly teased Fantastic Four in Spider-Man Homecoming. Because when they were talking about... Uh, what's this, um, When they were like moving everything out of Stark Tower and they said that Tony Stark sold the tower. And they're moving everything uh -huh. upstate. Mm -hmm. When like everyone was expecting like, oh, he sold his tower to Reed Richards and it's going to become 
Uh, oh, what the the Baxter Building? The Baxter Building. So the old Avengers slash Stark Tower is going to become the Baxter Building. Maybe. Who knows? But that's kind of what I think, and that's kind of what I think they are gearing towards because Fantastic Four hasn't had anything going on since the really, really, really bad reboot that Fox did. Right. Whereas X Men has been doing a bunch of stuff. So that's what I'm saying. I feel I well, I mean, I have a feeling no, that this- it's gonna be it's gonna take a little bit longer for them to reboot X Men because they have to recast the entire un- that entire universe. Yeah. Whereas Fantastic yeah. Four, they've had all this time and they've probably been thinking and talking about it already. Now they I've seen talks of like you know the dude from the quiet a quiet place? Like the oh yeah, I forgot his name like John Karowski or something like that. Yeah, John they're, Krasinski. Been like, he played. Um, yeah, they've been teasing him. He played as, what's um, his face in uh, the office. He played um, yeah, Jim. Jim, yeah, yeah. They, they've been teasing him as maybe being Reed Richards, and they gave him like a little gray in like one of the pictures. I was like, oh, oh, I can see that. Oh, it I would can be perfect. See that. It would, that be, would be absolutely be perfect. Really dope. I want I want him as Reed Richards. And I want Emily Blunt as uh, Invisible Woman. Yo, that because be they're dope. married in real life, and that's why the Quiet Place was so good because they had that on-screen chemistry that made it absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Quote unquote. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> no, but, I agree. But honestly, I did love Fox's original casting, like Jessica Biel, like you know, it was Ian good. Wilford, you know, and the the thing they they got the thing like spot on like I did love the, and Johnny yeah and they, Johnny the ca- the cast was good yeah right friend um Captain America is Fantastic Four oops <laughs> yeah personally I think they're gonna do Fantastic Four first and then introduce X Men at a later time assuming they plan on rebooting X Men like uh, completely rebooting them and I think that's what they're gonna do I think the only character that's not gonna be get rebooted is uh, Deadpool because duh I don't know what people are going to think about Dark Phoenix purely because of the state that oh, Fox I, X-Men is in yeah honestly I feel like I don't think it's going to be good and and it's weird for me to say that because I've been such a strong supporter of the X-Men movies lately but I'm sorry the the costumes as comically accurate as they are to like X-Men Evolution and like a couple other um alternate X-Men costumes, it looks tacky as fuck. The acting oh, it does. doesn't seem like the acting doesn't seem like it's there for Dark Fe- for Jean. Like Jean is she plays a great Jean, but yeah. she does, it doesn't seem like she's gonna play a great Dark Phoenix. So I don't know. I, I think I, I'll, I'll go see it. I'll still go see it, but my expectations are not gonna be high. <laughs> exactly. And I don't think anyone's expectations are high purely because they know that this version of the X-Men is probably kind of dead already. Because Fox already got bought out by Disney. But at the same time, I, I kind of agree with like. People get, like, I, I think we've had enough of, like, everybody trying to link everything together. Like, let's just have standalone shit for standalone heroes. No, I think that's what we're going to I think that's what we're gonna get with the MCU going forward for a while. It's just going to be standalone movies. You know, I don't think they're going to be completely interlinked together. Yeah. After Endgame, I mean, a lot of these are just going to be their own movies and stuff. Like, yeah, they're going to start building up the new universe... But they're going to mostly just be like, you know, their own stuff. They might relate yeah, gonna, to some of the other of, movies, but ultimately they're going to be, you know, standalone. True standalone. That's what I'm expecting anyways. It could end up being totally different. But I think everyone's on that, like, you know, interconnected kick right now, especially with Endgame. So, who knows? I mean, honestly, as long as they do it in a way that doesn't feel forced or rushed... Then I guess I'll exactly. be okay with it. Exactly. That's the biggest thing. As long as Marvel continues to be, do what they're good at, take their time with their movies, and deliver quality shit, I am going to love it no matter what. And I'm wearing my Iron Spider armor right now because it looks so freaking good in this game. But anyways, um, yeah, what are your, th- what are your guys' thoughts about the X-Men uh, Dark Phoenix specifically? What you, how do you think... The MCU is going to handle their reboot and introducing them, Fantastic Four, and the possibility of this multiverse. What do you think is going to happen? Let us know all your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this video, go ahead and swipe right on that like button. 
If you're new to your channel and you like what you see here, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that bell so you can notify we go live. Then share our stuff with all your friends so they can see how awesome we are. We can grow and spread our word and everything. There's going to be a lot of changes coming. I'm talking with the whole group, seeing what we like and what we don't like and some things here and there. New name, new logo, new what, everything basically. New content plan, whatever. It was all coming. I will keep you guys updated. Do not worry. But yeah, guys. Jules, thank you so much for coming on. Of course, of course. Ladies and gents, thank you so much for watching. Stay excellent, and we'll see you in the next dive-in.